Maybe that's what made me feel sick. I don't normally, you normally get a warning, don't you, when you feel sick? I know exactly how you feel. Ever since I've been in this flat, I've felt you going forward all the time, and it's just the vibe this flat gives me. It makes me go funny. If you stand still too long, you'll start swaying. That's what I feel like. Almost as though you're drunk when you're not. Yeah. Lightheaded. Lightheaded. Yeah. Now that they feel they've all made contact with the spirits they believe are in their home, everyone gathers in Mitch's bedroom to hear Ian's plans to cleanse the property. Firstly, he outlines the main spirit he feels they're dealing with. Right, um, I do believe that the gentleman that hung himself was a landlord here. Well, that's the person who's causing the problems within both properties. Why is he so angry? Because he lost everything and nobody else should be successful. His family walked out on him when he lost everything. That's why he took his own life. I've got to come up with something. What we'll get rid of, what we've got to get rid of. Initially today when I had a walk around, when I spent the night here last night, um, I thought a seance, um, linking hands, using that strength, would get rid of what was here. After this evening, it kicks off, tends to kick off more when we're using the family as energy. I think the only way we can we can trap it or fight it, use it as a talking board or a Ouija board, is using that to get rid of it. There are consequences where it could be dangerous, I must admit to you. It's your prerogative to say no. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But I need to know at this point. Are you more liable to get rid of it with us here? Yeah. If everyone else is going to be here, I don't mind it. Yeah. Mitch, are you okay? I'd rather not do it, to be honest. But that's entirely up to you. Because I'm the one that's got to sleep here tonight. I want you to do it. Well, I'm okay to do I'm it. I'm prepared to do it in, you know, in the short term. I'll give you a go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sure. Mm. This is a Ouija board. You've used one before. And did you have problems with that? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, if we all just put our hands on the table, please. It's going to throw in your face. Okay, if you all just close your eyes. I just want to put your forefinger on the glass. So it just needs to be really light, so just, just push the glass. Okay. Everybody okay? Any questions, anybody? I'm inviting all the negative forces within these four walls, within these grounds. I am asking you, you okay? It's freezing. It's all right. At any point you want to go, you just leave, yeah? I am asking all negative souls to step forward from your world, which is death, into our world, which is life. If there's anybody there who would like to communicate, I ask if you to step forward and use our energies to move this glass. I think I can feel it moving slightly. Yeah, me too. Okay, keep coming forward, my friend. Someone pulling it? No. I can feel it moving away from me. From me? I think it's pulling away from me. Okay, keep coming close. Okay, come closer. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, exactly what happened the other day. What did that? Exactly what happened the other day. It's okay, there's somebody here. That's not... <laughs> all right, just get them out a minute, okay? okay? Everyone just go. Just go, go two seconds. Go. All right, go. let's go. What happened the Mitch's bowl of casino chips has fallen to the floor. It's a moment of disruption that has caused some panic. Joining them outside, Ian outlines what he believes has happened. The reason why he knocked the chips over is because Laura, you actually insulted the gentleman who was with us. He actually started to move the glass very slowly. You said, who was pushing it? Is somebody pushing that? He took that as an insult. And because he was poor, he knocked the chips over because that represents wealth, that represents money. And I heard you comment, Mitch, that that happened the other day. The other day, yeah. Jumped to the bed before, moved it. So he just actually moved it. That's just basically rubbing it in his face. You understand it? It's just like, you know, you've become successful or you've got all this wealth and money around him. He's not liking that. And, and unfortunately, it's probably it's uh, energy towards you. 
It's a tense moment for all, and with everything that's happened, Ian now decides that a different approach is needed. Obviously, he's not happy doing it this way. I feel the only way forward now would be to do a seance. I feel there's enough energy come forward with him. He's obviously angry, and uh, I always say when they're angry, they're weak. So I feel, even though he's got some force behind him, I, I do feel this would be the way forward. I'm going to uh, make this guy channel through me, OK? Any point you want to ask questions, file them at him, and I'll try and get him to, to communicate, however. Just close our eyes for a split second. I ask for the spirit person to step forward who was in these four walls. I ask of you to direct your anger towards me and me only. I ask for guides, loved one and inspirers and family who's passed on before us to protect each and every one around this room. The gentleman who knocked things around and who scares these people, I ask of you to draw close, draw close to me. Okay, thank you. Come forward. Can I ask who you are? He's saying that he owned this property. He was a, um, a landlord here. When was he a landlord here? He's saying 1904. Can I ask this one? Was he a smoker? Yes, he was a smoker. Why is he so angry? Because he lost everything. And nobody else should be successful. Did he have family? His family walked out on him when he lost everything. That's why he took his own life. Ask him where he took his own life. In the cellars. Can you ask him why he inhabits this room in particular? Because he tried it here first and it was unsuccessful. He wanted everyone to see him. Because he was hung swinging for days before somebody found him. What disturbs him the most now about this particular room? He's saying, you bitch. Me? He doesn't like women. Do you feel more uneasy than Mitch in here? Have you been cruel to Mitch? Or have you, um, because for some reason, because his wife left him, he's got no respect for women. I'm asking if he took those cigarettes. Elizabeth took them. You smashed the glass. You did. Me? I didn't smash the glass. How did I smash the glass? How did I smash the glass? Ask him. Because you frustrate him. Ask him why. Ask him why. Do you shout? Yeah. And scream? Yeah. 